Tonight's guest is a funny and witty and super nice person and streamer that I've met on the platform. Um, his streams are always fun to watch, he's super welcoming and super nice to everyone. We've got a lot to discuss tonight as we dive deep into more lore about the channel, what is, plays mo what is played mostly, what he's been up to, um, a little bit maybe why he hasn't been streaming lately as well, and when will the hiatus end how he got on the platform, and many more. I'm more than happy to welcome Bane, also known as Bane Meets World on Twitch. Welcome to tonight's episode of Twitch Tea Time. Wow, thank you so much. So Funny? Totally, yeah. Bitty? Nice? Well... <laughs> I'll take <laughs> Alright, so to everybody listening, in this space we're going to talk about everything, as I said, from gaming to Twitch, as well as some mental health topics and more. Whatever you're doing, everybody who's listening, I hope you enjoy... If you're at home, just sit back, grab a drink, and relax and enjoy. And the first thing I ask before I start, um, how are you doing? Uh, I'm doing great. I'm having a good time. My my girlfriend has COVID right now, so that kind of sucks. But otherwise, I'm okay. Oh, no. Yeah, that sucks. Did you get it as well? or? No, no. So I, actually, I've never had COVID and I Same. have not been sick since Same. since 2020. Yeah, I, I haven't been sick. Like, I've had a flu, but I got it, like, diagnosed, and it wasn't COVID. Mm. But ever, like, I think that was in, like, 2022, and, the like, the worst I got was, like, sniffles. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Um, not bad. Yeah. So, um... Can you tell me about how you discovered Twitch, how you decided to become a streamer, and a little bit about the channel? Yeah, um, so I, I found Twitch by one of my friends, uh, Francois878. I met him uh, in person, actually, playing some D&D uh, probably six or seven years ago. And then... It wasn't until maybe two or three years ago that I learned that he streams on Twitch, which was my first introduction to Twitch. Um, and a few years later, maybe a year later, I decided I'd try it out for myself. Um, and here I am. So um, where did the name Bane Meets World co uh, come from? Like, I know it. there's a show called like Boy Meets World and Girl Meets World. <laughs> Um, so Bane is actually part of my my real life name, my in person name, um, and then yeah, Bane meets world. Uh, at one point, it's actually uh, I was Bane meets world on TikTok a long time ago. I originally was on TikTok. My username was Handsome Stranger. And then I got tired of that name after a while, so I came up with Bane meets world. And I don't really have any, like, I'm not a, a Boy Meets World fan. I never watched the TV show. I just thought it fit well with the name Bane. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it is different. But um, what, like, you've been doing content on TikTok or have you been, like, streaming there? Because, like, now streamers also, like, some streamers, uh, they stream on TikTok as well. And I feel like TikTok is not the perfect platform to stream. And I, yeah, sorry. And I feel like TikTok is not the perfect platform to stream, you know? Yeah. So, um, sure. yeah. So because of like, you can't say uh, death, for example, you can't uh, have blood be there. Mm -hmm. So it would be a hassle. Yeah. Um, I, um, yeah. I started on TikTok probably in 2019 and it was my first like my first introduction to online content creation and i got i'm looking at my account right now currently i have 19.6k followers and at my peak i think i had uh like 20 20.2k followers um 
and I was just posting like nonsense, but I got a lot of success on there. Yeah, and that's, then I that's TikTok, uh, right? Not uh, Twitch. Yeah, yeah, on TikTok. Sorry, yeah, TikTok. Um, and then I took I took a break from TikTok, and then all of that momentum from like the success uh, of my videos completely vanished. So then I just completely dropped it, and I haven't touched TikTok in a long time. Yeah, I've also like tried my hand uh, in TikTok, like content creation. And um, it always seemed to fail. Like at some point, I posted like some gaming videos back in 2020, um, and I used like you know that TikTok has sa songs that you can use. So I used mm -hmm. these in my videos, and I still got like shadow banned. It told me like I'm using songs that are copyrighted that I'm not allowed to use. I'm like mm -hmm. the video is muted. I'm using songs of the platform. Then I just tried three more times, and then like one of them is like. I was like, no, that's it. I always got shadow banned. Like shadow banning is probably when you get like one video with like views and then the next one or the next few ones are like all zero. Yeah. So yeah. So I gave it up. Wait. You also have that like promote feature where it's like pay money to have your video seen more. And it seems like a scam. Like they intentionally hide your video so that you know people will pay to have yeah. it be seen, you know? very yeah. shady yeah um but um you said that you were on a hiatus um is it like something that's uh like you're on vacation is it like something work related life related and will <laughs> when will you be out of that hiatus no so it wasn't um i guess i, I i'll say it was a hiatus that was i was forced into it wasn't by choice um back in uh, I guess May and early May, I started having really bad internet issues, like terrible, terrible um, issues that I couldn't fix with my the ISP I had at the time. Mm -hmm. uh, I have since switched to a new ISP and my internet issues are fixed, but I'm still taking some time off. Um, I think I haven't told anybody. So big, big reveal, a uh, world premiere. Um, I will plan on returning on September 13th, which oh, is nice. a Friday. Nice. Friday the 13th. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, do you know how, how you can like, um, do you know how like when a month has a Friday the 13th? What do you mean? Like... Do you know how? Like how to know that a month has Friday the 13th in it? No, is there a trick? Yes. Uh, if the, the first day of the month falls on a Sunday, it's always going to mm. be a Friday the 13th. Always. It's good to know. Yeah. And um, I've heard you talk like uh, in our, one of our mutual friends' chats that um, you've also auditioned for some uh, voice acting roles and stuff. Um I don't remember if you said you've got it, but um, how did that happen? And do you mind uh, speaking a little bit about it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So for for a long time, Twitch was my outlet for like creative stuff and content creation. Mm -hmm. And when I went on hi hiatus, I still had that like creative energy that I wanted to, um, to vent out. And it went towards voice acting. And actually, I have a friend on Twitch uh, his name is the Eagle Dev. He creates video games as a hobby and invited me to voice act in his most recent release, oh, wow. the game called Heroine's Claw. Oh, wow. And I voiced the main character. So that was my like that my first my first intro to voice acting. Nice. Um, and then, like I said, when I went on my hiatus, I still wanted to keep doing voice acting. So I've been on. Uh, you know, Reddit and some other sites where people look for voice actors. And I have landed a few roles. It's all free work, though. It's like people pretty much doing a hobby. So I, I have I found a lot of success, but nothing, nothing paid. And it's all very slow. Like right now I'm in uh, three different projects, but... I've been in them for like months at a time and it's just very slow moving because I'll get like a, like here, read this script and I'll read it. 
And I said, that's great. And then two weeks later, like I don't hear anything. And then they send me a new script and I read it. So it's a, uh, it's a fun little like side hobby that I've been doing, but it's not very exciting. Um, but yeah. Like I said, it's a lot of fun. So do you remember what was the first game you ever streamed? First game I ever streamed was System Shock 2, I believe. Have you heard of that game? It's, uh, I think it's from 90, 1993 or 4. Because when I, when I started my stream, I knew I wanted to lean into kind of retro, um, yeah. Yeah. retro games and stuff. Yeah. And I always wanted to play System Shock 2. It's, it's a like first person shooter sci fi horror game. But was my first ever stream, my first clip as well. Nice, nice. Um, so how did you decide on what content you're going to be streaming? Since I've seen you play like a few horror games every now and then, and now you've mentioned that you like uh, retro games as well. Well, the retro, the retro vibe has always been part of my, my like aesthetic, pretty much. So retro games seem to fit into that pretty well. Um, but I do typically I stay on either horror games or retro games. I didn't plan on that. I didn't plan to play horror games, but um, maybe my like fourth stream ever, I played a game called Ghost Exile, which is a lot like uh, yeah. Phasmophobia. Yeah. Um, when I played that, I got, I think, three different raids in that one stream, all from people that I have never met before. But it was other communities that played horror games. So I found a lot of success playing a horror game. And I thought, well, maybe I'll just make this my my thing. Yeah. And I mean, then, that's and then how I'm... you meet people, you know, like uh, yeah. other than networking, for example, like people sometimes look for others that are playing either the same game. And if uh, if they get unlucky, they rate people from the same category sometimes. I tend to do that lately, but um, at some point I didn't because I had like a list and I rotated uh, through it. But now I'm like, let's let's try and find new people because I'm like, Twitch can be also a toxic place at some points and um, mm-hmm. not everybody can just like be the nice vibe that you are, you know? So Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, so what are your limits regarding your streams? Like what would piss you off? What would get someone's uh, message deleted in chat? What would get uh, what would get them banned, for example? Um, well, I, I, I've only ever banned, I think, three or four people, all for different, like wildly different reasons. But as far as chat goes, I think uh, for the most part, you know, first thing that comes to mind is if a chatter or two different chatters are having a fight in my chat. Um, yeah. You know, depending on how bad it is, I would I would ban. Well, I wouldn't ban them immediately. I would send them a message saying like, "Hey, don't do that again." And if they refuse, then I would ban them. Um, but I, I'm I've created and I've, I've cultivated a very a very friendly um, community that I'm proud of, and I want to protect that community. So if I see somebody disrespecting or bullying somebody in my community that I care about, then like I'm, I'm going to ban them. Like I'm not I'm not going to yeah. allow somebody to make my stream a bad time, you know, or, or somebody else place. or a bad place. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So, um, how many hours? Per day or a week like in general do you spend on twitch not only like streaming um I, I spend a lot of time on twitch uh when i was streaming i tried to stream every day for about three hours ish um, i don't think i not every day every every weekday so monday through friday yeah um but i don't think i ever went through a whole week monday through friday there were times where i took time off um but when i'm not streaming uh, I like to I like to support my friends, not only because it's uh, a good thing to do, but because I have entertaining friends. 
So typically when I'm when I'm on my computer, I always have Twitch up on one of my screens uh, because I have three. So whether I'm I'm being active or just lurking, it's it's pretty much whenever I'm on my for the most part. Yeah, yeah. Um, so to the new people out there who are just starting streaming, maybe people you know that that are thinking about streaming as well, uh, what's one advice you want to give them? Oh, my my biggest piece of advice. It's almost like my my uh, philosophy, the Bane philosophy. I'll, I'll coin the term. Okay. Um, yeah. If if you want to start streaming, you're you're only going to get out of it what you put into it. And I say that because I see a lot of streamers who are either struggling to reach affiliate or they're really bummed out because they streamed for six hours and nobody showed up. But if you're not also going out and supporting other streamers, you can't expect to have success and support from people on Twitch if you're not also willing to give that success and support to other people. Um, And that's where I found most of my success was... um, you know, joining a stream, joining a Discord, being active, and uh, just being a good viewer. And in doing so, I found that being a good viewer, when I streamed, uh, gave me good viewers. <laughs> so it's kind of like a, a back and forth. And it's not uh, yeah. it's not like a follow for follow or scratch my back and I scratch yours. It's more so just being a friendly people or a friendly person that people want to interact with. And then when you stream, people will interact with you. Yeah, like being That's, there, like being there for like people uh, that you know, yeah. your friends and stuff. Yeah, that's also part of like networking. Exactly, and yeah, networking is a big is a big part of it. So we're going to go into um, uh, the second segment now, which is kind of like a lightning round slash pop quiz about you. Okay. Uh, so do you mind telling me and the listeners what's one daily routine you have to do? Uh, a daily routine I have to do? Um, I want to pick something that's not obvious, <laughs> like brush my teeth or whatever. Yeah. Mm, man, I don't know. I don't have a very exciting exciting life. You can always skip if you, if you like feel like you're blacking out i will say i i can't start my day without coffee and if i don't i have a bad day so that's my that's my one thing that i have uh in my routine yeah um so if you ever were to be any object or creature whether real or fictional what would you be and why whoa uh, an object or a creature real or fictional yep Uh, um Oh God, I want to be, I really want to explore space. So I don't know what, what's something that explores space? Uh, Spaceship, astronaut, asteroid, asteroid, everything. Yeah, Yeah. I'll be something like that. Yeah. An astronaut that explores space. Um, So what's your biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve? Um... Well, I don't know if it's my biggest pet peeve, but it's been on my mind recently is when somebody, a random person, will voice their opinion, but state it as if it's a fact. That annoys me so much. Mm -hmm. Um, I can't think of a good example, but if somebody says, like, uh, I saw I saw uh, Deadpool and Wolverine recently and I liked it, but I know me liking it is my subjective opinion therefore i'm not going to say it's it's a good movie because uh you know it's 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 opinion not a fact but when somebody says if somebody were come up to me and say a new daredevil movie sucks it's bad i'm like that's just your opinion dude chill out yeah yeah i mean i i i feel that because like um i'm more 
a DC fan than a Marvel fan and I think Deadpool falls in between uh, in that space between where I'm like okay you're mm-hmm. passable because you're already like a comedic comedic figure and um, it's just because I hate how Disney is just turning every single Marvel character into a comedian it's I'm not there yeah. to see the Hulk just say a poorly written dad joke every five seconds <laughs> like honestly yeah, yeah. A good point. Yeah. So what's one thing you cannot live without? Oh, I already said coffee. Something I can't live without. Yeah. Um, my phone, I guess. I, I can't imagine going out without my phone for even a day. Yeah. I'd be so enough. lost. Fair enough. Yeah. What's your comfort off-stream game? Comfort off-stream game? I love uh, CRPGs. Uh, like um, Baldur's Gate, I I love those kind of games, um, and I have a bunch of really old ones that I like to play. But they're not good streaming games, even though I love them. I would never stream them. I mean, you um, could always you could always stream what you love, and that's what I do as well. <laughs> Sometimes I stream like uh, Sid Meier's Civilization Six, and some people don't mm. actually like seeing this, or I've, or some people might might find it boring. But I still went with it. Like, I still go with it. Maybe I will someday. Try uh, it out. Yeah. So, what's one thing you spend a lot of money on besides games? Uh, food, for sure. I spend a lot of money on food. <laughs> um, yeah. Like, when I'm... Not, not so much, like, fast food or, like, eating out. It's yeah. more so... When I buy food at the grocery store I want to make sure I'm I'm getting quality stuff you know sometimes yeah. I splurge a little bit yeah um, so what would you do with one million dollars well, oh if I had a million dollars I would probably I would I would pay off my family's debt to like my my mom's car and stuff I think I, I think I would I would focus on paying off friends and family's debt first. Yeah. And then whatever whatever's left, I would you know keep keep some of it as spending money, just to make, to make myself comfortable. And then the rest I would invest. I would get into like stocks and stuff probably. Yeah. Um, so this is a three part question. Uh, what's one of your all-time favorite songs or a song that you've been stuck uh, or you've been keeping on repeat lately? Uh, my all-time favorite song, and it has been for a very long time, is a song called G, Walking on Yo Coffin by Lil Boudang. I've never heard of it. It's, it's like, gets me so pumped up. I can, I can send you a link to it. Um, but it's, uh, it's a very like energetic and aggressive rap song. It makes me want, it's this kind of song that makes me want to speed when I'm driving. So now what's one of your all-time favorite TV shows or series? And by TV shows I mean like um, cuz some people told me like TV shows are also series, but no, TV shows are like for example like talk shows, probably game shows. Mm. Uh definitely Twin Peaks favorite TV show. Okay. Um, so what's Classic. yeah? What's one of your all-time favorite movies? Uh, the Thing from nineteen eighty-four. Uh, the 19- with Kurt Russell. Yeah, nineteen eighty-four film. Uh, the Thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's good stuff. Yeah, with uh, what's her face? Pajama Pam, I think. Oh no, that's not. No, 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 that's not the one. The other one is the ring. Okay, never mind. <laughs> 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 yeah, I got them confused. Um, so if you had one special superpower, what would you do with it? Uh, what would it be actually and why? And how would you use it? I would love, I would love time travel. Just time travel. And I would go back in time. I would pause time. Man, the, the possibilities are endless. Yeah. Yeah. Mine would go to be, the future. Yeah. Mine would be teleportation. So kind of the same <laughs> it's uh, not a bad thing yeah um, so 
If you had the chance to switch lives with one celebrity from today just for one day, who would you pick and why? Um I would probably pick Tom Holland. And I don't know why. I don't know why. If it's just for one day. Yeah. I don't know. I, I assume he has like a nice house and stuff. I'd spend time in Tom Holland's house. <laughs> as Tom Holland. Yeah. Um what is something you always wanted to learn but you didn't find time for? Oh man. Um I've been trying to learn 3D modeling in Blender. Uh, since like January, okay. I have this I have this course online that I've learned a lot from, but it's not like a time thing. I just I suck really bad at sitting down and learning something. My my focus is is real bad. So I've learned a lot of stuff on Blender, but I'll go through this course. And then I'll reach a point where I just like lose motivation and I want to do something else. And I've done that like three times where I just keep, I seem to keep running into a wall kind of. Uh, yeah. But someday I'll, I'll break through the wall and I'll learn Blender. Yeah. And uh, it's not easy, honestly. Like I'm, I, I try sometimes making like probably like uh, reskinning some Sims. Um, mm -hmm. like Sims clothing and stuff, but uh, they were like, "Well, run it through Blender." I'm like, "I have Sims 4 Studio for that, so it's easier." So, yeah, it's it's real complex. Yeah. Um. So, which of these three things would you give up if you ever had to? Money, gaming, or love? <laughs> uh, I would say gaming. Is it like specifically video games? Mm, yeah. Okay, yeah, games games I can do away with, I think. Okay. Um, so if you had an alter ego, what would they be named and what would they do? An alter ego? Yeah. Um, their name... <laughs> you can skip if you first thing. out. No, it's okay. The first thing I thought of was Dark Bane would be my alter ego. Oh my god, that's that sounds cool. <laughs> um, but I feel like if I had an alter ego, I would be the evil one, and they would be the good one that like is successful and achieves all their goals and stuff. Yeah. Whereas I'm I'm the I'm the evil version. <laughs> Um, so these are food related questions now um, what's the what's your all time favorite uh, drink of choice drink of choice um, I like alcoholic beverage or just anything uh, your call maybe tell mm. me both like normal and then alcoholic well I have already said coffee otherwise i would say coffee um but i will say rum and coke it's probably it's it's basic okay super basic but it's yeah. my go-to yeah that's fair that's fair uh what's uh what's the weirdest food you've ever had um just a few weeks ago at my friend's birthday party somebody had brought i think it was kangaroo jerky yeah, it was real weird. It was very, uh, very soft. Oh my god! <laughs> I've heard of people like eating horse meat, but kangaroo meat—that's weird. Yeah, there's some places. There's like uh, touristy places uh, in the U.S. Mm -hmm. that have like snake jerky, um, like rabbit jerky and stuff like that. It's mostly a novelty. I don't think people really. You know, eat that stuff regularly. Yeah. Um, so, what's your favorite comfort food of all time? Oh, um, biscuits and gravy. American biscuits and gravy. So good. Have you ever had biscuits and gravy? Uh, biscuits and gravy. I don't think so. It's like, um, 
It's like a butter biscuit. Mm-hmm. And then this thick gravy with chunks of sausage in it. Oh, yeah. It's I know. very... It's like comfort food to the max. We have uh, something here that's kind of similar. It is not s'mores, but it's like very, very uh, similar. It is... I like um, s'mores. Yeah, it is um, like you have these... Um, I don't know what they're called in English, but uh, they're like uh, pieces of like puffy sugar and they're like flavored and you have like two just empty biscuits and you just make like turn them into a biscuit, like put them in in between and just eat the sugar. That sounds great. Yeah. So can you name me one traditional food from your country? Traditional food from America. Yeah. Um, I feel like whatever I say, I'm going to learn that it like originated from some other country. Mm. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I feel like biscuits and gravy. I think that's an American thing. It might be my favorite American food. Well, fair enough. Yeah. That's not like a, you know, a pizza or something. No, of course not. Yeah, I know. Um, I think if we're speaking like American food, I've probably had like mac and cheese like one time oh, okay. lately. And I've said before that I've never had mac and cheese, but uh, then I realized, oh no, I've had it. All right, so this is where it all comes down to the seriousness. Um, This is the final segment, which is the mental health part. Uh, In this segment, we will be talking about mental health. And I say this every episode because some subjects are really triggering in the past. I've had, um, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to say these words again, but we've spoken about uh, depression, um, self-harm, suicide, rape, abduction. A lot of these morbid stuff so i don't think bullying stands uh stands anywhere close to how morbid it is but it can be but um not to that extent so please i apologize in advance for any heavy or triggering terms that might be used mental health is not an easy subject to talk about if you seem if you feel like you don't want to just get bothered or trigger yourself or like feel feel just you don't want those emotions just feel free to either skip or dip out um this also applies to future episodes so i asked bain uh what is this to- like what would he choose as a topic so he chose uh online bullying or teasing like mainly from streaming perspective like chats bullying the streamer but i um i think i have a different point of view for that um sometimes it is the the like mods or like if you're a mod you're allowed to just like bully or tease because if like if it's in a loving way you cannot escape it and it's not harmful so yeah I think I think there's a a very distinct line between actual bullying with like a, a, a malicious intent and stuff that's more like banter yeah for sure um, the reason I, I wanted to bring up this topic is because I think the banter part of it can so so easily toe that line of um, going into actual like bullying and making fun of somebody. And I think it's it's interesting because it also depends on the person where, for example, I mean, you and I, we we've, we've interacted in yeah. discords and streams before. Yeah. Um, but we're not we're not that close. You know, I, this is our first time speaking ever. Yeah, like um, this close. Yeah. Yeah. With that being said, if I went into your stream, I would not feel comfortable saying things like, uh, like teasing you. Yeah. You know, like I don't know what I would even say. Heckling, but, for example, or something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't feel comfortable with it because we don't, we haven't reached that connection. Yeah. The same if I streamed and you came in and you were like making fun of my hair or um, 
like saying I'm bad at the game. Yeah. I wouldn't, it would be difficult for me to take that as anything else other than like malicious bullying because I don't know you that well. Yeah. And I, I just don't know your, your style. 100%. And I've had, um, um, and I've had like, um, I've heard one of my mods slash friends as well, like close friends. Um, he's also my mod, as I said. So um, he knows someone. Like he's friends with a guy and his sister. So the sister, he's trying to just like take her away from her brother's vibes because his her brother was like um, uh, like nice and um, welcoming and friendly. And they've known each other since like their school years, he told me. And then now he's like, every time he comes into my friend's stream, he's like, lame. And then, um, and then I'm like, what is his problem? And then it's like, I don't know, like, I blame myself for that part because I've introduced that person to DBD streamers. So I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's something that has, has been... Yeah hard on me too and i i haven't um i haven't told this to anybody except for my my girlfriend and and that was pretty recently yeah but what really bothers me is not only when somebody who i don't know very well or i'm not comfortable with starts teasing me that that really like that ruined my day but also to have somebody tease me and um like lightly bully me and then to see them treat somebody else like super nice is like man i wish i wish they would treat me that way and i don't understand why they don't and that that really like gets me down um when i feel like people are mean to me but nice to other people you know does that yeah. make sense yeah Been so there. yeah i think as far as like the teasing and bullying goes I think it should only be done if you are like 110% sure that you have the, the connection to do so, where it's not going to negatively impact somebody's day. And if you aren't 110% sure, then you can just be nice. Like, just say something like, hey, how's it going? Like, how's your day? Um, hope you're doing well. Like, those kind of interactions, they do the opposite for me. They give me a good day. And I feel, you know, recharged and energized, but... Yeah. Uh, otherwise, it's really hard some days. Yeah, because I've been I've been like in streams and I've I've I don't know if you've heard the episode where I spoke out about like uh, me uh, knowing someone and uh, they followed me. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead. It's not doxing, but like she followed me from uh, someone I mod for, and they're both duchies. Um, uh, so. I've stuck around her streams for a bit then she gave me a diamond for being helpful and then she asks like one of her mods apparently there's like a, there was like drama happening uh, backstage so then she was like hey um in the in her discord hey um who would love to mod for me I'm looking for one mod because she only like needs three mods and she doesn't want more so she had space for one more and I'm like yeah I'll do it and then things escalated slowly I was doing my job she streams usually Monday Wednesday Friday like MWF um, and then she got it, things got to a point where like I've told her that I have impulsivity and I'm like and she was okay with that and that I sometimes over chat or overreact or overact stuff like um, like sounds or stuff like jokingly I sometimes tend to spam sounds without even knowing how to stop and uh, when I realize that I need to stop it's when I stop and um, so she started making like channels on discord uh, there was a channel that I was able to access from the other discord account that I have and on this account it's locked for me and she said it's been there forever it's called hide and seek it's been there forever and um, everybody else was able to join it except me and then when I was like when I tapped out you know that there's uh, on discord to the side to the left like left side there's like a banner with like server uh, like for example host uh, mods um, name of like like people you know the people names mm -hmm. so 
I noticed that her mods are called Zombie Army, and then um, when I tapped out, I I clicked on my fellow mod's profile by mistake, like wasn't wasn't intentional because I didn't see my mouse, like the mouse arrow, and then I read Zombie Army permanent, which is admin. Then I'm like, hmm, I wonder if if mine says the same. And then curiosity kills the cat. I'm not permanent. It's like zombie army. I don't have access to most channels. I don't have anything. She was restricting me. She was like, um, even one time I just like stayed up and she streamed at 4 a.m. for me, which is, which is uh, 6 p.m. Uh, PST. Because I'm like, uh, if you add two hours to my time and then flip the time of day, uh, you get my time. So okay. she never streams at that time. And I was like, what the fuck are you doing up at this hour? She was like, well, yeah, I have a sponsorship. And she got, she gets rated with 54 viewers. Her PC overheats. She has like a $4,000 PC and it overheated. Bullshit. So, um, like, it, it really became toxic to a point where I felt like she was trying to bully me without showing it. And then she was like yeah. on stream. Uh, she's like, "Oh, I'm I'm fundraising for a tablet for cooking streams." I'm like, between me and myself, I'm like, "Bitch, you already have a four thousand dollar PC, and you work like a job that makes you a thousand or two thousand a week. Why would you fundraise? Why would you crowdfund? You could easily buy a tablet. Like, so her her servers are kind of like sub." to get a shout out in her server like if you are sub to her you get an auto shout out in her discord otherwise you don't even your mods so it got to a point where it's getting toxic and i've asked her for like co-streams she's like no nah, i'm not busy i'm not doing co-streams and she does five co-streams then in january i was gonna step down and she was like i unmodded you because you were like um messing with my stream algorithm i'm like how am i messing with your stream algorithm that's crazy how the fuck am I messing with that? And then I was like, well, yeah, I'd be happy to go back to VIP. And what really ticked me off and have and got me to ban her and report her and block her is not that fact that she unmodded me. Okay, miscommunication happens. I don't mind. I wasn't even gonna like bring it up. But to have her ban my other account, because I was using Step Lucifer, like running uh, code, like running commands in Firebot at the time, and I had like... Uh, two monitors so one monitor was just for her streams and the other was split in two I was running that and I didn't want to tab out so I was chatting through that and she got upset about that and she thought I banned her podcast account it was flagged as suspicious so it all led to that I'm like she's starting to doubt me for something I, I didn't do like review who banned it review why it got banned maybe people are reporting you for being stupid I told her that Maybe <laughs> people are people are reporting you for being stupid as you are, and I got really, really, really pissed off to a point where I became over over borderline toxic with her because I couldn't chat in her chat, and she didn't want to like remove the suspicious user monitoring from my account that I use right now, Lucifer TTV, and um, she didn't even read my chats. She's like she read them with her eyes and she kept going. I'm like, okay, nope, I'm done with this bitch. And then I um, I sent her a long ass text saying like um, I don't mind if you unmod me I don't mind if there's miscommunication but to go ahead and like blame me for uh, banning your podcast or reporting as suspicious instead of like looking who you share ban info with and who would have blocked it there and then uh, not blaming others and like stuff she did and then you're just toxic so this is one form of bullying i'll never get get over you know yeah i um i think I, i've mi- i've heard you mention that yeah sometime in another episode and it, it struck me because i went through something very similar where i yeah. watched a streamer um and then they modded me and their other mod just it felt like they got jealous that i was starting to do moderator things and just like over time it got real toxic and i was i felt like i was pushed out of the community yeah and then uh i said i wanted to not be mod anymore 
So I told the streamer, like, hey, I don't have enough time to be there for every stream, so I might not be able to mod so much. And they said, okay, I removed your mod, your mod privileges. Which I was like, okay, that's fine. I don't yeah. have to be, like, I, I guess I, I insinuated in my message that I would still be happy to, to mod. I just want to be around as much. Uh, yeah. But then they took away my, my mod. And then I went back to their stream later and they took away my VIP. Yeah. I was like, what? Kind of the same ordeal happened with another one of my friends and mods. Yeah. Uh, she was like, uh, she was a guest on an episode as well. And she, and the ordeal kind of pissed me off because I was like following that uh, a person that um, is mutual friends with other people that I know. And uh she got to a point where like she started reading my messages with her eyes and reading the others out loud for example like um let's say i sent the word mental health is not an easy subject to talk about she read that with her eyes and she's like oh hi hi yeah oh today we're gonna talk about online like like for example so i felt like something's off and then I subbed to her and then she didn't even say thank you. I subbed again the next month and she didn't even say thank you. I put my time and effort last year into making her like a birthday montage that took three days. She didn't even say happy birthday on my birthday last month, last year, sorry, last year. Uh, her mods shunned me, like didn't even say happy birthday. And there was like another community member that we shared the same birthday with. They said to him, and they shunned me except one person that I've had recently on the podcast she's the only person that said happy birthday and I'm like okay I'm done with this then I tried to just she was the one that encouraged me to start the podcast in like when we met in 2023 or the end of 2022 and then I was like the first episode is yours it's booked whether you whether you're free or not she's like I'm gonna make time no matter what so now I speak to her in December of like last year and she's like uh, sorry I'm not interested I'm like okay I twitch and then I'm like listen here you've done this you've done that have you even noticed why people run away from you and why people sometimes don't click with you you don't just go in and shout at people during your streams just for them to shut up because they're speaking it's a phasmophobia lobby and I was like speaking uh, like asking about stuff and she was talking she was like let me speak like let me talk and she I was like okay oh, no. okay well I'll let you talk and then disconnect I'm like yeah I'm, I'm, I'm not taking this um, you just give my place to someone else and then um, then back to January or December and then I sent her like Hey, you did this and you did that. And um, I wish you all the best, but we're not friends. The thing that triggered me is because she unmodded one of my mods and friends. Because she, uh, my friend told her that she is like going to be taking a mental health break, stepping away. And uh, that person was like, yeah, of course. Your, your sword is always going to be there when you come back, your sword. And uh, she came back and no sword. It's wild. And, and then she, uh, my friend asks, like, why? She was like, well, you, you've been gone for too long. How is three months too long? She, and when she clearly told her, take all the time you need. And I really felt triggered, like, no, 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 no. And um, the third reason is Hogwarts Legacy. So, yeah, that's brief. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's a lot of, yeah streamers that i think they just get a big ego at a certain point where they don't really care about i guess they they lose the care for other people's feelings i don't know why uh, honestly like i would really yeah. know the reason i would really love to know the reason why that second person did that like what went wrong in her head like why did she treat me like that and she treated other people so like even though she knows who I mod for and she and and she's friends with him and she rated him a few times and I've suggested her to other people and I'm like what happened this is all I want to know I don't care if she wants to talk or not I just want to know the reason yeah I, I, I hope it never happens to me where I get a big ego yeah I mean pretty much I'm trying not to because like I've been told lately that I have a big ego. I'm like, 
well i've always had the big ego i'm i'm partially a leo so um mm. plus when i speak of myself it's not meant as malicious behavior more than like just banter and chatter because i can't open subjects so i'm like hey uh i uh, this is happening with me and this is going on and this and blah 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 so i'm like i don't know how to open a conversation otherwise so some people have told me like okay mr big ego i'm like well yeah go big or go small <laughs> go big or go home yeah so I, well i think it's it, there's a there's a there's a, a fine line between you know self-confidence yeah and having an ego yeah but i think um as far as the the like bullying and teasing stuff goes uh i think a good rule of thumb is whether it's on discord or it's on a, a twitch chat if you interact with somebody make sure that the first thing you say to them that day is a greeting you know something something nice something yeah. that makes them feel excited or makes them feel like you're excited that they're there and then you can later on get into the banter and the teasing and stuff i think with me what really bothers me and puts me down most of the time is when my first interaction with somebody is you know them teasing me or dogging on me or generally like not not making me feel like i'm welcome when they're they're probably most likely just trying to be friendly yeah but if the first message is like hey how's it going how was your uh friday or how's your weekend or whatever like, if that the f first message is that then you're good and then you can start bullying them and teasing them but i yeah. think that first interaction yeah. is uh, the most important first impression is always the most important yeah and um, yeah. Yeah. i think like uh, i always say something like if you're a mod if you're a vip like bane if you can if you ever come into my stream and like start teasing me i wouldn't mind because like i've been around you i've seen you in many streams and um if we didn't do the podcast and if we weren't close i wouldn't take it with a grain of salt i would be laughing about it because i know you like if you're like first time chatter and you start like heckling or stuff this is where i draw the line nope that's good to know yeah so i've had someone as well um that i know from someone else as well and she came into or they came into my stream um they were like oh yeah i can help you elevate and they're they're not like a, an artist or anything they're just a common friend but they pissed me off to a point where they started like messaging my mods trying to get into my mods the discord just to just uh, tell her tell my mod that um, they wanted they want to help her and they want to just get her to a thousand followers and it's like twitch it's against it's big time against twitch tos to do like follow for follow or so sh uh, they use the word support for support and this is what pissed me off i'm like uh thank you but nope at the time i had like half of what i have now i had like 500 followers i'm almost at a thousand now so i was like i want to get there genuinely i don't want any bots i don't want any help from anyone if it's like unsolicited i don't want your help if it's like forced i don't want it i don't want your help if you're doing it out of the kindness of your heart and not just to benefit yourself i don't mind uh and i don't mind i do not look at like viewer count but i i really get excited when i like see that i have like double digits and like 30 or 20s like in the viewers i'm like mm -hmm. oh my god the next person is going to benefit from these and i and it just fills my heart with joy so i really care about the views from that perspective only i don't i don't care if i if my content doesn't appease people i just want people to support others that's what that's yeah. why i try to just sometimes i look at the views i'm not gonna lie sometimes i look at the view with viewer account but it's because of like okay i want a good amount because i want to support the next person so it's like paid forward mm -hmm. i don't care about myself so and that you that mean aspect. like if you are if you have like like 20 or 30 viewers that's a good uh a, a good raid 
yeah. you're saying yeah, yeah, yeah. to give to somebody else because, okay, yeah. because I've I seen agree. I've seen someone that is like not not yet affiliate I've rated someone one time that's yeah. not yet affiliate he needed like one more follower and uh, every time that uh, people come into his streams and they were like um, hey he's fairly new he's like hey um, do, you, do you mind giving me a follow because I need one more follow yeah. they unfollow like he, he loses followers <laughs> so I was like they did, him with, they did him with 30 and he cried that day and he was like thank you so much he got nice. to like probably 55 and then he got affiliate and uh, he probably wanted to give me mod just to thank me for that I'm like I really like your content, but I really cannot burden myself because, like, you have been in stream at the same time, even though I mod for a lot of people, but I didn't know him quite well. I met him through another person, and um, I just like the joy in his eyes and his fa in, on his face. Like, this is why I, I keep like double digits, even if it's like just ten people. It'll do. It'll do a lot. So. <laughs> I like that. That's a good thought. Yeah. Anyways, Bane, thank you so much for the time. Um, thank you for uh, being on the podcast. For sure. Yeah. Thanks for having me. It was a good chat. No worries. No worries. And guys, go check out Bane Meets World. It's literally the episode handle. Um, go give him a follow. Go check him out. Anticipate his big return. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> <laughs> spooky. It's in it's in September, as he said. Um so I'll be looking forward to it. I'll be keeping an eye out. And um Thanks. Uh, what days do you stream by the way, usually? Uh when I am streaming I try to do every weekday, so Monday through Friday. And uh, what are the times? I'm in Eastern Standard. Okay. Uh, so right now, right now it's four thirty for me. Um, okay. So I, I try to do from three to six typically. Okay. So yeah. So go check him out. Go give him a follow, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care of yourselves, and bye.